Jesse, I'm writing to apologize for my behavior last night. As you can probably imagine, I don't have a fully formed idea of the things I did and said last night, but the things I do remember weren't good and are not fair to you. Also, don't feel pressured to write me back. I'm actually about to get on a plane, so I'm not going to be checking my phone for a while. Yeah, sorry again. Hey, man, just wanted to hit you up and see if you're doing okay today. I know that party last night got pretty intense for everybody, especially you. Are you okay, man? Huh. I'm hungover, but I'm okay. Thanks for checking in. Cool. Actually, man, can I ask you, did you see what I was doing last night? It's kind of a haze. Yeah, I don't know. You were kind of keeping to yourself, and then at some point I was like, where's Ed? And I saw you out on the porch, and you were talking to Jessica and that guy, Gnome, and it got pretty heated, but then I got distracted, so, like, I don't know what ended up happening. Hey, can I call you? Yeah. Okay, five minutes. I have to get my bag. Where are you? Ohio. I'm at the airport. I'm going to help my mom out. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Five minutes. I'm about to get off the plane. Hey. Hey, so look, I'm kind of freaking out right now because I don't remember much, but the stuff that I do remember might have been, like, the worst shit. Like what? Well, you know, I know for sure that I freaked out pretty hard. And then Gnome was yelling at me to leave, but then my phone was dead, so I'm pretty sure, like, Jesse or Gnome had to, like, call me a car. So... Yes, yeah, so I'm just asking if you remember anything that I might have been doing or, like, saying. Yeah, no, I just remember looking out the front window, and it was like, you, Jessica, Gnome, and Coral. Who's, who's Coral? She's my friend from work. I think she was just, like, having a cigarette, though. Yeah, do you have a number? Yeah. Yeah, could you shoot me that? Yeah, for sure. Um, here, I'll text you. But I, I'm at work, so I got to bounce, man. Okay, yeah, no problem. Hang in there, dude. <sighs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. What? What? Dude, what's with you? Honestly, I feel like I'm fucking imploding right now. Like, legit-ass imploding, okay? I bought a one-way ticket to Ohio. I didn't even tell my job. So I'm pretty sure I'm about to get fucking fired next week. And, <laughs> and yeah, my shit's, like, in complete freefall right now. Jesus, is your mom that messed up, man? I don't know, dude. I'm not a fucking doctor, but I, there's no timetable for when she's not going to be messed up. Oh, man. You know, just hang in there, man. Thanks. Thank you for that. I don't know what else to say to you, dude. It's fine. I'm at work, man. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Thanks. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Keep me posted. Please. Okay. Yeah. Hey, send me that girl's number. Yes. Bye. Right. Bye. Fuck. 917-653-2913. Hang in there. Poop emoji. <laughs> Hey, I'm in a cab. I'll be there soon. <sighs> okay. How long? I don't know. The guy didn't say. Okay. Are you coming to the hospital? Should I come to the hospital? Yes. Okay, I'll tell him to go to the hospital. I think I'll be there in 45 minutes. There's traffic. Okay. How's mom? She's okay. Okay. Hey, Coral. My name is Ed. I got your number from my friend Charles. You don't know me, but I have reason to believe that you were in my vicinity last night at a party while I was having an argument with my ex-girlfriend and her boyfriend. Can you confirm this? Sorry if this is creepy. I am not trying to be creepy. I'm blocking this number, creep. No, please don't. 
Hey, I'm kidding. Yes, I was outside. Oh, okay, cool. Were you aware of me and my ex-girlfriend and the conflict we were having? Oh, yes. Yes, I was. Okay, can you tell me what happened? I can't remember. Actually, can I just call you? Sorry, I know this is weird and I know it's a big ask. It's fine. It's fine if I call you? Yes. Okay, I'm calling you. Hey, Coral? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm sorry. So I'm just like wondering what exactly. So uh, you came outside and you were like, hmm, Jesse, fancy seeing you here with this very like forced, casual kind of uh, tone. And it was a little aggressive, like very aggressive. Or I guess like passive aggressive is the right word. But it was like with its your own little um, dastardly dramatic twist. Right. And then she introduced you to her boyfriend, who you just kind of ignored. And then you told her that your mom was sick, which I was sorry to hear. That sucks. And then she said she was sorry. And then you kind of berated her. What did I say? Oh, you're just like, uh, how she should be ashamed that she brought this guy to the party or whatever. Oh, God. I mean, it was, uh, I don't know what happened between you two, but. We broke up. Yeah, but I mean, it was just very soap opera, you know? You were like in full-on soap opera mode. In its own way, it was kind of glorious. You were really drunk. Was she crying? No, no. She was just like pissed, you know? She could totally handle it. She actually kind of seemed like she, uh, you know, was prepared for it. And then the boyfriend. No. That's his name? Yeah. He was like, go away. Just like that, he just kept saying that, go away. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And then you were like, I saw the dots. You know, he just kept saying, I saw the dots. Like, very emotional. Uh-huh. And I didn't really know what you meant by that, like, I couldn't really track. So then they called me a car? Yeah, and then the boyfriend called you a car, which I thought was very nice, considering. Gnome called the car? Yeah. And while you were waiting for the car to arrive, uh, you kind of went in front of the house and then you just peed on a tree in front of the house, you know, like we all kind of silently um, watched you pee. Oh my God. And then you got in a cab and left. That's it, that's the story. Okay, okay. Um, actually, can I ask you, just, you know, as like an objective observer, I feel like shit. Honestly, I feel so bad, and is that warranted? Um... I mean, I'm embarrassed, but should I be having these feelings that are... Like, I want to crawl into the earth and die, like those kind of feelings. Well, uh, I will say that if I were you, I would be thinking, oh, maybe, um, time for a change. You know? Okay. Is that it? Uh, yeah, thank you for this, Coral. This was really... Okay, bye. Oh, bye. Where are you? Hey, sorry, I was making a call. Where? Outside the hospital. I'm, I'm coming in now. What room number? Why are you making calls? I'm sorry. I'll be there in five minutes. Room 715. Hey, Jesse, just wanted to write and say sorry again. I did some detective work and found out what happened last night from a few people, and I do not feel good. So, sorry again. Also, I'm at the hospital, and my mom's doing okay, but it's a little scary. She had her gallbladder removed, which is not supposed to be a big deal, but there was a bile leak, so her abdomen is filled with bile, but they're draining it, and she's on antibiotics, so... Hopefully she's on the mend. Also, I'm not telling you this to make you feel guilty. I just figured you'd want to know. Not being manipulative. 
I'm just sitting here at the hospital while she's sleeping and my dad takes a shower and changes his clothes at home. So I'm kind of bored. No need to write back. Smiley face emoji, praying hands emoji. Hey Ed, this is Gnome. Can you do me a favor and stop writing Jesse texts? Thanks. Hey Gnome, sorry. I should apologize to you too. It's okay, you were upset, you drank too much, it happens. Yeah, super sorry. Also, let me know how much the cab costs, I will pay you back. No need. You sure? 100% sure. Okay, thanks. Hey, no, can I ask, did Jesse ask you to text me? No, and I'm not going to respond to any more of your texts. We're trying to have dinner and you're bothering us. Oh, sorry. Enjoy your dinner. What are you having? Just kidding. Sorry. Dessert is on me. Kidding, again. Stop. Sorry. Hey, no, how was the dinner? What did you guys have? Yo, no. 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 I'm looking for nightlife recommendations in Columbus, Ohio. Ed, I'm blocking this number. Jesse is blocking your number as well. Please don't try to contact either of us ever again. I think you need to take a moment and look at your choices and think about how they affect other people. Thank you and goodbye. Hey, dude, how's it going? It's okay. Yeah? How's your mom? She's okay. I don't know. Oh, okay. I got fired. Ah, uh, that sucks. And I tried to apologize to Jesse, and she blocked me. That sucks. Full story, I went to a bar and got drunk and started texting her boyfriend, like, kind of messing with him, and he told me that she blocked me. That sucks. Yeah. Also, my dad is openly smoking weed around me. It's insane. Whoa. Yeah, he's basically living at the hospital, but if he comes home to take a shower or check the mail, he just rolls a joint, watches some cat videos, and smokes down and he calls them doobies. So he'll be like, want a doobie, son? And I'm like, nah, dad, I'm cool. He calls you son? Yeah. That's actually even weirder that he casually calls you son. Yeah. You should be like, I didn't know you were in the doobie brothers. Yeah. Okay, hey, thanks for checking in, man. What are you doing now? I'm gonna go sit at a hospital for several hours, then go to a bar. Sweet. Have fun, man. Poop emoji. Where are you? A bar. Why aren't you home? I don't know. I didn't think you were coming home tonight. Your mom wanted a Hobbit DVD. Okay. Are you coming home? I don't know. You shouldn't be out this late. It's not that late. Come home. Okay. Have you been drinking at the bar? No, I'm just having peanuts. Are you lying? I'm joking. Yes, I'm having a drink. It's okay. You know I stay out late all the time. I don't see how this is any different. 
It's different because you're staying with me and I'm the boss. Get an Uber. We'll pick up your car in the morning and get corned beef hash for your mother. I love you. Sometimes more than your mom. You have my blood. Okay, Dad, you're freaking me out. I'm going home. Good. Hey, dude, can you send Jesse a message for me? What about? Can you tell her that my mom's having emergency surgery? When? Right now? Yeah. Is this for real? Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll let her know. Is it bad? It has the potential to be either very bad or very good. We won't know until it's done. That's crazy. Keep me posted, please. Thanks, man. Ed, what is happening? Can I call you? Not right now. I'll call you in a bit. Hey. Hey. So, is she, like, in surgery right now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're trying to, like, block the leak or redirect it or something. They thought that they had it under control, but now her, like, temperature is crazy high, and, and we're basically in the dark. Where's your dad? He's in the waiting room, but they're playing Ellen full blast, and I was like, I can't fucking deal with Ellen right now. <sighs> okay, so... What do you want? What? What do you want from me? You know, uh, I, I just wanted to talk you to you. You do realize that this is, like, insanely manipulative, right? Yeah, I mean... I just... To, you know, I just I just wanted to get you on the phone. Okay. Well, you wore me down, so what do you want? I just wanted to say about the other night, I apologize. That's, that's it. Okay. Apology accepted. Okay, cool. Anything else? Yeah, um... Yeah, I just kind of want to explain myself and say that you, you know, um... Ed? When I heard that you were coming to the party, because, you know, Charles hit me up and was, like, kind of filling me out to see if it was cool that he invited you and if I was cool with, like, the group trying to recombine. And I was like, yeah, that's actually awesome, because I was legitimately excited to see you. And then I was going back through our old text messages, like, have you, have you done that? I got a new phone. Okay, well, yeah, sure, but you can still, like, go back. They hold months and months of text messages. It's insane. It's, it's like your sister's baby and shit like that. Like, what the hell? Like, I'm going back, looking at all of this stuff and, like, straight up walking backwards in time. And then I saw, it was like, I saw the dots, you know? Okay. Like, you know the dots that, like, tell you that somebody's, like, typing a message to you. Uh-huh. And I was like, shit, she's fucking thinking of me. This is amazing, this is this wild coincidence. But then I, I, I never heard from you. I, I never got an actual text. Well, Ed, I was writing because I was trying to figure out how to tell you that I was gonna be bringing my new boyfriend. Right. But uh, I kind of figured that you were gonna overreact either way, so it would just be easier to tell you in person, which was obviously a mistake. Yeah, I know. That was bad, Ed. I know, I'm sorry. Even this, okay, this is bad. You're wrapping me up in this and I can't do it, all right? I gotta go. Okay. I'm sorry about Jeanette. It sounds really bad, I hope she gets better. Yeah, this bile. Yeah, bile sucks. Yeah, fuck bile. Okay. Okay, I love you. Jesus Christ, I love you too. You can't call me again for a year, okay? Okay. Bye. Actually, Jesse, are you, are you still there? What? Could you just unblock me, please? I, I really, I, I, I don't want to be blocked. I never blocked you. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice.
Yo, everything okay? Yeah, she's okay. They fixed the leak. That's great. She's sleeping. Me and my dad are both at home now. Awesome. And I think my dad is smoking weed in the shower right now. Good. He deserves it. Yeah, I'm actually feeling like my work here is done, so I'm coming home. Flying back tomorrow. Want to get a beer? Yes. Okay, cool. I'll hit you up. Poop emoji. Smiley face emoji. Casket emoji. That was not cool. Kissy face emoji. Kissy face emoji. Excited to see you. Hello, Coral. This is Ed. I don't know if you saved me on your phone. But I've been thinking about this thing you said, where you said my freak out was glorious or whatever. And I was thinking if you were actually impressed by the spectacle of me losing my shit, then I would like to buy you a drink. Because the fact that I'm basically a wreck is something I usually don't reveal until much later in my relationships. And I am somewhat intrigued by the idea of starting one from there. Okay. Well, I will say that I am not interested in a relationship with you for a variety of reasons. Most notable reason being that I am gay. Oh, God, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's funny. And I will still get a drink with you if you are still interested. Yeah, sounds good. How's tonight? It's good. Okay, I can meet at eight. You know that bar Mother's? Yes, I do. Okay, see you there. 8 p.m.? Yes. Cool, and I'll buy you food, too, if you want food. I owe you. I want food. Great, I will buy you food. Hey, I can't do tonight, actually. Okay, no worries. Thanks, dude. You're my friend. I know. Doctor says mom's going home tomorrow. Awesome. Is that too early? Not for me. Okay, great. Keep me posted. Heart emoji. Heart emoji. Hey, where are you? I'm in the backyard. It's too crowded inside. Oh, okay, yeah, I was waiting out front. Why? I don't know. I, uh... Did you want to welcome me to the bar? No, I, I just, uh... Are you coming in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming in, but you're gonna have to grab me because I don't know what you look like. Okay, I'll grab you and shake you. That's perfect. <laughs> 